classic. It's almost like a summer 2013 docket here. We've got uh, Binding of Isaac Daily Challenge. I guess that's the newest thing, weirdly enough. Middle section is going to be Spelunky Death Roulette with the Daily Challenge as well. And the final section is going to be little speedrunners. Maybe we can get uh, new people to join us from the chat. Or maybe if uh, anybody else that, you know, is a Steam or a stream regular wants to join us, they can uh, they can come on in as well. I don't think we can stop Sweet. people from joining anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know how anything works. I thought private matches were private, but they're actually not. <laughs> <laughs> no more crack, crackle gone. I accept that. Elucidator, thank you. For people wondering why I keep scratching my nose like this, I don't have a, like, a latent cocaine addiction. I this cat fur. The problem is I'm a, you know, I'm her suits, except on my head. I have nose hair, yeah. and I have two cats, and the cats are shedding, and the nose hair catches the cat hair. It's like a, a whale's kind of baleen or something like that. And Ever since we talked about baleen, you bring it up so much now. I'm trying to reinforce it because I was an idiot and I thought baleen meant tooth, you know? I was like, oh, yeah, it's the tooth yeah, that regenerates, no, right? Which is... Basically stupid. the big strips at the car wash. It's basically that, just for krill and stuff. It's a tooth whorl, is what it's called anyway. It's, it's a whorl. It's W-H-O-R-L. Oh, yeah. A gallon of pop up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Thanks for the subscription. And also, I'm with you, dude. I call it pop, not soda, even though now that I'm, uh, you know... 25 years old and not a 50 year old man in a like 1950s era TV show like Leave It to Beaver. Pop sounds like a stupid thing to call a drink. Anyway, Nick. I found the seed. All right. I don't know if you did. What's the seed? You ready? I'm super ready. 335. Okay. 9667. All right. 335, 9667. Start. Right. Isaac. I'm ready. And we're in. Oh, dude! What? It, it was not pop. What are you talking about? It was a gallon of PCP. You drank a gallon of PCP? I didn't drink it. Is that you? We drank it. <laughs> Clearly, we're heavy, uh, you know, class four drug users. Did you drink you the gallon drink of PCP? PCP? I don't even know what that is, well, like, what form it takes. Look, I don't know either, but PCP, what's it also known as? Uh, I don't know. Angel what? dust. Oh, okay. So I, I imagine it's a snortable. All right, I mean, it's dust by virtue of that name description. Yeah, exactly. When I, we So we didn't have um, D.A.R.E. like you guys did. Like the, What does D.A.R.E. even stand for? Drugs I are know, really... I, I missed it by one year. Oh, you really? You were like one year ahead of it? Uh, yeah, by the time I was old enough like to know that there was a thing called D.A.R.E., like I was a generation past it already. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for you. We had something called oh, uh, Racing yeah. Against Drugs. Spooty one, thank you very much for that subscription. And Racing Against Drugs is pretty much the dumbest concept I've ever heard for like an anti-drug initiative. I think they had to make it cool. So what they did is they like included slot car racing. So like once a year what? we would go to like this, yeah, for real, we would go to this like that's racing warehouse slash museum thing. And we would do like slot car races and it, it would be like a, a rotation of sessions. So everyone would have a slot car session, which was like the hook. You're like, shit, dude, today's racing against drugs. We're going to do the slot cars. Uh, but sometimes you would do it at like 3 p.m. And you'd be in anti-drug workshops for like eight hours leading up to it, which was really, really shitty. Wow. But uh, at Race Against Drugs, I forget, we were probably in like sixth or seventh grade. This, there was this police officer, and she basically gave us the worst lecture on PCP. She pretty much told us that it turns you into a goddamn superhero. She's like... What? She was like... Yo, PCP is like really crazy. It'll mess you up. We got called out to this house and there was like a domestic dispute and there was this guy oh, on PCP. Yeah. We actually had to pull our guns on him. Thank you, Lazimus, by the way. And we shot him like four times and he didn't go down until we shot him the fifth time. That's what PCP does to you. And the kids were all like, yeah! Like Holy PCP fuck, sounds dramatic. amazing. It's a weird situation here, Nick. And now with the bath salts, I don't even know what you tell kids anymore. You might eat someone if you have those. Don't do that. Don't don't eat people if you can avoid it. Nick. Or snore bath salts. Yeah. I had a very strange. Um, I had a very strange first floor. I got a Max's head, which I'm pretty happy about. I got a Max's head, uh, but I also got an I am error room, where oh yeah, where I bought mini mush for 15 cents. That's interesting. What are you gonna do with that? I I don't really know. It was a very weird. Uh, it was a very weird situation. I was ha I had enough money to make it worthwhile, so it felt pretty good.
But it, it caused me to miss out on the shop, unfortunately. But Max's head is, is solid as is. Yeah, it's like decapitated, but it is pretty solid. I agree. It's... Hey, look who it is. Anteater Superstar is back. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Do just donated $6.90. Oh, I've been super busy with school and haven't been able to watch the NLSS recently. Just wanted to say I love you and that you should stream Ape Escape too. Dude, Thank you very much, Anteater Superstar. He missed the show where we played Ape Escape. Yeah, I I was really disappointed he wasn't there to see that. We were looking for him the whole time. I kept telling people, like, does anyone have his info, like, so I can tweet at him or, like, find him somewhere and send him a message or an email or something. Like, nobody could help me. It was really annoying. Like, this is the one time I really need to get in contact with you. I can't find you. Usually it's, it's you're everywhere. It's frustrating, man. Hey, Nick. Yeah. How's your second floor going? You down there yet? I'm fighting the Duke of Flies. More like the Duke of Dies, actually. He just died. Guess what um, I just got? Mom's lipstick? What? Take a guess. I rerolled mom's lipstick into an eight ball, so that's good. That uh, happened to me too. You got a mom's knife. Yes, I did. What is up with my guessing? I'm not <laughs> watching your stream and I get it like every time. Well, the secret is that it's always mom's knife. Oh. And if it's not mom's knife, it's polyphemus. No, that other time I guessed both mom's knife and polyphemus and I was also right and we I didn't guess right anything time, else. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. What's the devil do again? What do you mean, like the card? card? Yeah. It gives you a uh, Book of Belial's effect for one room. Oh, that's kind of dumb. All right. It's really good, man. Yeah, but like I have another card, so it's not worth bothering with. All right, we're done. I basically just sacrificed one life with nine lives to uh, get, like, guppy now. to get like 11 cents. No, I'm not even close to becoming guppy, actually. You have nine lives. You're one third of the way there. Oh my god, Nick. I think I just I threw my run. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm trapped in the second secret room and I can't get out. Because, no, sorry, I'm what? trapped in the secret room. I can't get out because I have no bombs. The only way I can get out is via uh, the curse rooms, but I can't make it from door to door fast enough and I only have one heart. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess we're restarting this one then. I can actually, Come on, Edmund. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on again so we can get the same deal with the devil chances. Well, I've lost. Lost a run with mom's that knife. That is a game ending glitch. Might as well just give up. It's not It's not really a glitch, I guess. Like, no, you should always have a way out of a room. Well, there is a way out of the room. I just don't have enough HP. All right, well, it's a game-ending glitch still. It's, it's not a glitch, though. I'm defending the game that just fucked me, okay? You have Stockholm Syndrome for Isaac, I think. I don't have Stockholm. There's sometimes... I was playing a community remix run today, and on the second floor, uh, I beat the boss, and then I got an item. And then I explored the rest of the floor, and I came back around, and the, the hole to take me down to the next level had been replaced by an item pedestal that had Robo Baby on it. So I, like, it was like That's 2001 good. A Space Odyssey or something like that. So I picked up, uh, I picked up Robo Baby, and then walked out and walked back in, and it was still just an item pedestal. So I had to use Spider Mod to actually, like, teleport me down to the next floor, every floor, for the whole game. Wow. That's a glitch. That's, that's fine. Thanks very much, Spooty1, for the subscription. You're our first subscriber today, and I really appreciate it. Let's get some Rock Yahas and Beauty Faces going if you have them. Elus says, yeah, it's a bug. Okay, so that's... I guess that's not Edmund's fault. It was uh, introduced in Community Remix. New Community Remix update is pretty sweet, though. Do they add any new items? Uh, yeah, there is a new item. Just one? Do you have a problem? They're adding, like, a I new mean, update every week. I could probably make at least one item every week. If well, then I do it. There's nothing stopping you. All right. Well, figuring out how to do it is what's stopping me. Otherwise, I probably could. That See? is that is the <laughs> worst logic of all time. <laughs> I could totally do that. I don't know how. That's what's stopping me. But if I knew how, I totally could. <laughs> yeah. No. It's it's actually a tautology if you think about it. It's a dumbology if I don't think about it, and probably even oh. more if I do. There's the nail here. I used to want the nail, but I don't anymore. I think I'm gonna re-roll the devil room. Uh, you should pick up nine lives, though. I hate nine lives. I don't care about Guppy. I don't like that item. How oh, you, yeah. How can you not care Much about better. Guppy? better. Mom's knife. Well, I think one way or the other, we're both gonna have Mom's knife on this round, if I had to guess. Look I'm, awesome, too. I'm still on floor one, unfortunately, but I think I've learned my lesson. I hope that Max's head carries into the knife. Yeah, it's just a damage upgrade, so it totally uh, okay. Totally works. Well, sometimes things do weird stuff when they stack, so I, I don't always expect like oh, anything to really work yeah. with anything else. 
in this game. That's a smart assumption for the most part. Yeah. Penguin meat, up down to the side, welcome to the lion pride. That's an animal I've not eaten. Yeah, Chef Ramsay almost died trying to eat a penguin one day. Is it, he, he like died in the process was, of consuming it? He was trying to chase one down. Oh, uh, you slip on the and ice. And he like almost fell off an iceberg or something, is oh, what I heard. That's a nasty way to go. I'm so glad he didn't die because he's produced like thousands of TV shows since then. Yeah, F word. Master Chef, Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares, Hotel Hell. There's so many more. Uh, I don't want to go in this curse room, though. I'll probably die. Nick, please. 12 cents. I should probably bomb for a secret room. Um, probably between these two. Oh, yeah. Sir Sin Victor. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Nick. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I did last time. My took... power is actually flashing. If my power goes out, I'll be back real fast. All right. Just so you know. Go ahead. I uh, I took nine lives and mom's knife again. All right. Well, good call on the knife. I don't know about the nine lives though. You know uh, what was your when you rerolled uh, the nail? What did it become? Or sorry, when you rerolled nine lives, what did it become? I had uh, money equals power and mom's knife. Oh man, money equals power. I would have much preferred that to, uh, to nine lives, I think. Well, I took mom's knife. Yeah, but I you could still take it. It's still here. I guess you. I guess you couldn't have taken both. That's a good it's point. It's two hearts each, and I had four hearts, so mm. I would have been riding on two spirit hearts, which I'm not sure I had when I had that. Fair enough. Hmm. My eyes just went inside of my head. Are you eye rolling, Talia Tate? Because I did the same thing I did last time. I don't have to get myself killed this time. I'll just well, you never had to in the first place, but you did anyway. Yeah, but that was accidental. This is, uh, at least I I know now what I know. I, I know now what I didn't know then. They know not now what they do. Exactly. <laughs> is that like Lord of the Rings or something? Uh... It's like, yeah, foolish it's, it's took! Like, you know not Gollum. what you do. They should do like Gollum Reads the Bible or some shit. That would be a really good series. Yeah? Yeah, that would be... That would annoy a lot of people. You definitely got that right. <laughs> a lot of people would probably be pretty unhappy with uh, with that. I like annoying people. It's fun. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, yeah. Mitch Rap 27. Mitch, uh, Mitch uh, Rap. That's um, that's Vanilla Ice. But also, up down at the side, welcome to the line. Right. Thank you, Mitchell Ice. That's his name? Yeah, that's Mitchell. Vanilla Ice's real name, actually. Mm, that's a uh, that's queen. Depends how many mirrors I did. You did the you appropriate amount of mirrors, I think. <laughs> Regardless of which one you're talking about. <laughs> I feel like hearing you say mirrors. It's like John Malkovich's Russian impression in Rounders. Why didn't they ever make a sequel to that movie? I wanted to see more people go inside of that man. You might be thinking of a different movie, Nick. No, John Malkovich, where they, they opened oh. up a hole. Being John Malkovich, they opened up a hole and then they went inside of him. And like they fell out a couple of times and they went back inside of him again. I really uh, was into, you know, Charlie Kaufman wrote the movie. I was really into his movies for a long time. Has he done anything since Synecdoche? I'm not sure. I like that word, though. It's a city, I what in, it means. It's a city in your home state, Nick. No. It means something. Synecdoche. It's like a type of caramel? Something like that, yeah. Cynic Dolce de Leche? Mm hmm. Yeah, you got it. It's a gelato place on Main Street. Don't be disgusting about it, Nick. Oh, about going inside of John Malkovich? It's not disgusting. It's beautiful. He's a good actor. He's fine, yeah. I like him. See, what oh, I was hoping is that yeah. it would spawn a whole spin off series, maybe a TV show where you go into like different actors all the time. Mm, yeah. Like the room just leads to a different random person. I'm with you. So there. it'd be kind of like sliders or something. The no, that's hamburger rounders. Show. Rounders is the John Malkovich movie. Rounders, sliders. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, typhoon Win just subscribed, so thank you very much. It's been a big win for this typhoon. I really appreciate it. Nick, you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. Typhoon Win, thank you very much for the Lots subscription. Lots of things out of your mouth, man. Mm, we'll not talk about that. Not on this stream. That's going to be for our Brazzers stream after we get sponsored. I can't wait, man. 
I love browsers so much. I still have to, I'm waiting for the watermark. I really need the watermark for my channel so that way I can properly brand all the things that I do for them. Yeah. I'll put it right next to the Machinima logo. Yeah. It's perfect. That's a very nice spot for it. Thank you very much to Crimson Raven for the $10 hey. donation that I can't say for some reason. Uh, it says, have a good evening. You as well. That's, That's very kind that of you. That is just very nice. Oh, fuck. I got hit. That happens in Isaac. It's okay. You'll recover. Well, I lost a life as a result. It's not that big of a deal, but it sucks. More. And it's... I have, I have seven more, yeah. It just sucks because I'm fighting Chad, so I get little Chad, which is a bullshit item to begin with. Liberty cap or rusty key? Liberty cap for sure. Rusty key doesn't even work. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Uh, with mom's knife, though, what does that do? Anything? It's a it's a trinket. Does it help me? It helps you more than rusted key, which doesn't even work. Oh, okay. It gives you a, a random mushroom effect every room. Oh, that's the part I was looking for. All right. I couldn't summon up the way to say it properly. So I just said it in strange ways that you couldn't understand. That's a little strange. It was like a Moby song. That's how ways the strange were. Oh, missing page. That's like uh, probably substantially worse than Liberty Cat. But better than Rusted Key. Because Rusted Key doesn't even work. I want to emphasize combo. that point as much yeah, as possible. Doesn't work. So like matchsticks plus Rusted Key is like a really good synergy, right? No, because Rusted Key doesn't work. Oh. Well, I thought that they would go well together because, like, of the damage upgrade and then also the key. Never mind. Matchstick isn't a damage upgrade, Nick. The, uh, toothpicks. Oh, there we go. Wrong, wrong X. Yeah, wrong X. We had the wrong X there. Oh, uh. so close to enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Oh, well. That's fine. Item room, mom's pad, dumb. What floor are you on, Nick? Caves two. I'm coming for you. We got a tarot deck, not necessarily interested in that. I guess I should take one card from it though. Tarot deck is very different than rusted key because the tarot cards actually work. Okay, I'm with that. Uh, oh, I used the wrong one there. All right, so I got a Joker card out of it. That's not so good. Dude, the Joker card is, like, the second best of all cards. Mmm, I like the tower mostly. Look, you are... You're a silly, silly vanilla a lot of the time, Nick. Yeah, I should probably get real and, like, get with the times. You gotta learn tower how to cards help garbage. yourself. Uh, in actuality, though, I don't remember what the Joker does, so I just assumed it was bad. It's not bad. It's very good instead. Okay. Gives you a free trip to uh, deal with the devil. Oh, well, that could be good in some circumstances. With only two hearts, though, I don't think I get a lot of use out of it. It's vastly good. It's always... There's no situation in which a deal with the devil is bad. Yes, Unle there is. The situation is if you take something in it, it'll kill you. Then just don't take it. Exercise, well, you know... Then I wouldn't go there, so I'd be better used uh, to keep that card slot open for something else. No, you just save it for a floor when you could live with it. How about I just don't take hits on the bosses and then I get devil rooms anyway? Nick, you still have a deal with the devil percentage chance change if you take deals with the devil in the past, so... What are you, BizSnap? <laughs> are you talking about stuff that happened in the past? I, I had a Kanye West lyric there, but I couldn't come up with it in time. This is my presence is a present, kiss my ass, something like that. I'm living in the present so that your present is my past. My presence is a present. Kiss my ass. I think maybe that's Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Something like that. Tell Nick to eat my sausage. Uh, Nick? You can eat my diction. You could, uh, uh. This guy would very much like you to eat his sausage, maybe? If it's a nice German sausage. I would probably eat it. Yeah, I bet you would. Pretty tasty. German cuisine is one of those, uh... It's one of those cuisines I would like to experience more of go to germany there's probably a lot of it there that's what i'm thinking like if, now if if i was going to go to europe germany would probably be my number one choice and it's sure lots of historical and cultural stuff but it's it's largely the cuisine i can't lie i would probably want to go meet mike bithel first before i go to germany well that's the thing if you go to europe like things are pretty close together plus mike bithel's a multi-millionaire oh, yeah. so he could just take an easy jet over in like 10 seconds oh come on <laughs> 
All right, well, uh, that's fair. I forgot how close everything was. I really wasn't thinking about that. So yeah, I guess you probably could just take a train. You can't take a train from England to Germany, Nick. Or a plane, whatever you need to take. I think you could do that, yeah. Bomb but, bag. Like, my knowledge of German cuisine is really bad. I enjoy sauerkraut as a, as a condiment. I love, uh, yeah, here we go. I love sausage, but I can't help but feel that I haven't really experienced good sausage. Like, I've had North American sausages. Do you I, bratwurst? That's at least the right ballpark. I've never really had bratwurst, I think. I've had, like, hot dogs. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Oh, sorry, Nick. You can take a train from England to Germany if you take the channel across the English Channel from England to France. Yeah, the channel. I know people talk about the channel a lot, actually. I forgot about the channel. I apologize. Yeah, it's okay. It's my mistake. I'll... I've never had schnitzel. Schnitzel seems like exactly my perfect food. It's freaking deep fried meat. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm there. I would love to go to Germany. I totally had the opportunity too when I was in uh, in my German class in high school. They did like the foreign exchange deal. Oh, it was yeah. just like three thousand dollars or something to go, yeah. and it was just like too much money, so I just didn't. It's all a, it's a scam by the the Parks and Recreation boards. No, I mean if you can afford it, it seems like it'd be fun. But yeah, three thousand is a lot for a high school student. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> You're right. Three thousand dollars is a lot of money for a high school student. It's a lot of money for everybody, but especially for a high school student. <laughs> Except Mike Bithel, he could afford it. Well, he could have just come and picked me up if he really wanted to. But On his easy jet. I was in high school, he didn't have Thomas was alone back then. That's true. I died. Oh, again. masks, I hate masks. Really yeah, I hope ma they get rid of these. You're on the Necropolis one? Yes, sir. All right. Losing a lot of lives, more lives than I'm comfortable with, but uh, still got it's six okay, left. okay, you got a lot more. Still got six left. Item room ahoy. Schnitzel is Austrian and not deep fried. Excuse me, is that true? Yeah, I didn't know where you're coming from with the deep fried thing, Schnitzel's but I also not deep just fried? didn't want to correct you. <laughs> I, thought sch <laughs> I thought schnitzel was deep fried. No, it's just German sausage, man. I'm sure you could deep fry it. I don't see why you couldn't, but like, I don't think it would make it really better. Schnitzel's deep fried, man. Okay. Wiener Schnitzel is Austrian. It's I'm called. Uh, apparently, this is a thank you European chat for educating me here. Wiener is just Vienna. Yeah, you're a Vienna so is, person. You're so from is Vienna. Wiener Schnitzel Vienna sausage? It's Vienna sausage. It's those yeah. little things that you get in the. In, next to the spam in the canned meat aisle that only, you know, no, single no, that's, 55 that's one year old of those bastardizations, I believe. Okay. I mean, I could be wrong. I've never been there either, but I don't think that's very German, honestly, Man. those tiny little weird things. Schnitzel is absolutely fried, guys. I'm, I don't know what to believe okay, anymore. Okay, never mind then. I can't comment because this isn't going to get See, us anywhere. See, this is... I've got to get this misinformation out. This is if no for no other reason than to feel educated myself here. Because I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, you can believe that Anator Superstar just donated another $6.90 with the message, Give this money to NL to help him experience a plethora of meaty, delicious sausage. Also, Berlin is an amazing city. Everyone speaks English and plays Ava's Cave too. <laughs> Now chat is saying schnitzel is not sausage. And the rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper. You know the answer to this is to look on Wikipedia. I can't look on Wikipedia right now. If, if I was not streaming right now, I would be doing what I always do, which is, hey, this is a food item. Let's go look it up on Wikipedia. I lose like an hour of my life. Just beat the Binding of Isaac like you always do. Become guppy, and then you can go on Wikipedia all night. Shallow fried, deep fried, it's all bad for you. Oh, don't even start this health argument. That's a whole different can of worms that we haven't even talked about yet. Why do we need to get into the health argument? You're just talking about eating a sausage once. You never just eat a sausage once, Nick. Oh, shit. Friggin' worm world just blew me through the door. Worm world. <laughs> I skipped oh, the room because yeah. they just forced me out. That does happen from time to time. Garbage. Ghetto Sorcerer, up down oh. to the side. Welcome to the Lion Drive. Room. Thank you I very hate much. Worm World. Fuck out, no. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use my last key here, but I'm gonna take damage in the way. That's not cool. 
this, uh, this boss fight is very important for me, Nick and chat. I, uh, very much need to not take damage and then get some deals with the devil as a result. And it's looking pretty good so far against the Fallen. Fallen's dead. Gives me Guppy's tail. Into the deal with the devil room. There's Guppy's paw. Didn't quite kill me. Reroll them. Oh, man. That's really good. Oh, shit. Wish me luck. I have to fight the Fallen with one and a half hearts. Oh, you can do it, Nick. You have Mom's uh, knife. Hit me once. Shame on them. Yeah. Uh, he's split in half. Shame on him. And... Oh, hit me twice. Shame on me. Oh, chat's real, real salty about the, uh... The guppiness right now. The guppiness. Don't be gross, Nick. Okay, I killed him. Good. Ooh, that was real close. Did you get Guppy's tail? Uh, I got freaking rage, which I oh, think I'm gonna reroll. Maybe you rerolled some deal with the devil items and you got out of sync. Yeah. Reroll gives me uh, brother Bobby, so I've got two two firing satellites now. So, the way my fallen fight went, I got Guppy's tail. Took me two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. Then there was um, Guppy's paw on the deal with the devil room. I picked it up, became Guppy, rerolled everything, and got to pick up the mark for free, which gave me more damage and an extra spirit heart. Like the Mark Summers. Is really like your number one mark reference is Mark Summers? What's wrong with that? It's just unusual. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by Mark Summers. It is, actually, because he's a germaphobe. <laughs> he would have to be he still loves like a champ though. <laughs> he would have to be extremely comfortable with you if he was gonna if he was gonna love you. I mean I guess that's true for anybody really, but Yeah, it's like Tomo really. I mean we didn't know each other until recently and then all of a sudden he was sleeping next to me one time, and that was fun. Tomo's a wild dude. <laughs> yeah, he gets around. Excuse me? No, he doesn't do that. I'm My kidding. cat gets around. We're still he having gets this around argument. Your apartment, that's all. We're still having an argument about schnitzel here. Don't tell me Howie Mandel is a germaphobe. I know that's true. Well, Mark Summers is also a germaphobe. Mark Summers applier. Oh, uh, man. Statistics donated a dollar and says NL scum should come visit Austria. Wiener schnitzel is breaded, tenderized meat. Breaded? Okay, so it's either deep fried or shallow fried. I could get into that. Chat's right, by the uh, way. They said, NL, it looks like you have cat ears because of the uh, door behind you. It actually totally lines up perfectly. It's great. Also, iLeads United 23 donated $1.69 and says, Happy birthday, Eluk. Also, you having a giggle, mate. <laughs> is it Eluk's birthday? Could if be, so, if happy it is, birthday. Then happy birthday, but I, I almost think that oh. maybe he's just trying to incite a riot. I got a full health and then a health down. What? Da, da, da. Ooh. The price I need right. those. I, I needed that so badly. I only have two red hearts. Oh, that must I'm, be really hard for you, Nick. One. Two red hearts. Yeah, I don't have nine lives. Like Me you, neither. Guppy. You've got seven or five or something now. Nick, I wanted to tell you a story. Tell me a story. I My misadventure. Oh, I died. Pen and okay. a pillow is all that uh, you need. My misadventures in uh, in Counter Strike Global Offensive last night. Okay. So I, so I queued up solo queue, playing by myself as I uh, am wont to do, and I uh, was on a team, and we were not doing so hot. We got to the point where it was like 14, 16, or 14 to six in favor of the other team. That's not so good for there you. There was one guy on our team who was really he was saving all of his money every single round and just buying guns for his teammates. So I was like, I don't know if this guy doesn't know what's up or if he's just like you know trying a really weird strategy or if he's friends with these guys but he's really bad so he's just gonna be like a bank account or something like that but he was using his knife and truth be told he was in fourth place on our team which using only your knife for the first 20 rounds that's pretty good that's pretty good he was yeah. like six and 12 or something like that so i to use his gun well that's and we got to 14 and 16 remember you lose if the other team gets to 16. okay if they get to 15 the best you can do is tie so we get up to that point, you know, we're one away from not being able to win. And he says, guys, do you want to win? And we say, yeah. And he goes, okay, I'll use my gun then. And we were all like, oh, oh shit. Like this guy must be a smurf, right? You know, a player that's really good, but plays on a new account to try to. Uh, yeah, he's hustling. Exactly. And then, so he's like, okay, let's do this. And then he like bought 
uh, an op to start sniping, and we're like, shit, dude, He's this is gonna be terrible. real right here. And he walked out into the middle of the map, like, well, not into the middle, like in the open, but into the spot called mid, and just got shot in the head in two seconds, like, by the <laughs> other team, and then we just lost. That's awesome. And the best part is, I have no doubt that he's good. I would almost guarantee right. that, he, that he's a good player. And he's like, all right, let's do this. Just got a little overconfident. And then, you know, it only takes one bullet to kill you. At least with the, with, the, uh, with the sniper rifle. So he just got shot in the head and was like, oh, well, shit. I was really hoping he was just a ringer for the knife. And then he was terrible at the game in general. <laughs> I would have been into that story. Well, honestly, that was the best way that that really could have ended. I mean, he might still be terrible at the game. I have no idea. Well, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt since he's using his knife. Yeah, he was doing really well with his knife. Like, he would see people, and I would be like, oh, shit. Like, if he has a gun, he can just totally flank them. And then he would just look at them and then wait for them to walk over to him. And he'd, like, stab one in the back and then just get shot in the head. Mm. So he probably cost us a lot of rounds in the meantime as well. But who's counting, right? Well, I mean, he was having a giggle probably, and that's fine. I think he was having a giggle. Yep. But that's fine, you know? Everybody needs some giggles in their lives now and then. I'm pretty sure he's happy to lose anyway, because it'll make his rank worse. Right, which as a smurf you want. I guess so, so you can do better in the future and then rank up. Oh, I thought it was to trick people into thinking you're bad at the game. Or like get into like a lower bracket or something. Yeah, you get into a lower bracket so that you can do better and have more fun. <laughs> it's weird, man. I don't know what to think about it. That's the world of competitive gaming that is the least interesting to me, where people need to, like, do shit to stroke their own ego. Yeah. I'm not into that. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's really frustrating. But then, like, 45% of the time, I end up with a smurf on my team, so... Right. You know, I mean, not that that's a good thing, but at the same time, I'm like, well, it is nice to get an easy win from time to time, I guess. You want to work as a team, though. You don't want to just be one person carrying you. Dude, when I, the only reason I even mention it being positive to have a smurf on my team is because, you know, half the time there's a smurf on both teams. So right. it's nice to smurf be smurf. What happens when both smurfs end up on the same team? Then you just lose. Yeah, that's really bad. Probably happens a lot. I think the matchmaking in Global Offensive is really good. Uh, it's just, you know... People would rather pay 15 bucks and get a new account than uh, than play people their own skill level. A lot of people would anyway. That's really strange to me. Oh, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, <laughs> so that was a uh, Yurt69 just donated six dollars and ninety cents with the message NL. I'm or you're giving messages to Ryan through me. Okay, uh, I'm the guy who tweeted about wisdom teeth earlier. 69 always stay sweet. I can't feel my mouth. You're the opposite of a jabroni. Nick on the other hand, dot 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 heart. <laughs> Nick, I think he called you a jabroni. I think so, but that's okay, because I'm actually kind of down for being a jabroni. I can do a pretty good people's eyebrow, actually. See? Look at it's that. It's not called the people's eyebrow. Well, it's his elbow. This is his elbow. And uh, Darden the First just subscribed. Thank you very, very much for your generosity and for becoming a member of the quarry. Let's raise up some PewDiePie faces if you've got them. Nick, did you just slap your elbow? Oh, yeah, that was my elbow. I was doing the people's elbow. Yeah. I was just curious. It's, yeah, whenever you hear a slapping sound, it's going to be my elbow from now on. So you know. EP Diablo, don't even tell me. They're freaking Smurfs, man, when they're on my team. And they get like 40 kills, 8 deaths. Hey, Nick. Yeah? Just a standard Isaac run. Uh, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Guppy. I know. I know how you work by now. Uh, also had a dollar sixty nine donated from Tevo, who says, "I like you, smiley face." That's very positive. I appreciate that very much. It's just very nice. After that whole Candyman debacle, really appreciate the positivity. Oh yeah. Up down to the side. Welcome to subscribed. Thank you very much for that <laughs> subscription. You had me pegged. You knew what I was gonna say there. Uh. Well, I mean, if you like getting pegged, that's your thing. I'm not gonna talk about that, though. You know who likes getting pegged is um, Kelsey Grammer in the Frasier song. I thought you were gonna song. say Simon. Simon, I get it. Simon Pegg, Simon yeah. Pegg. <laughs> but I don't know what to do getting fucked in the ass by Simon Pegg. Doesn't make any sense. I apologize uh, to his publicist. All right. Uh, classic Simon Pegg. 
Oh, I lost the Emperor card. That was dumb of me. Please give Blood Bag. Well, it wouldn't be an Isaac run if I didn't give you something to complain about besides me being way too powerful thanks to the RNG. I have not nothing to complain about because Darden just donated $69.69. And I almost just killed myself, but I just got the blood bag, so I think we're all good now. Thank God we didn't choose, like, 13 as our funny number. Yeah, right? Everything just came together just now. Thank you so, so much, Darden, for your huge generosity. That is the donation of the day for sure. Uh, message says, you get all the donations, NL never accepts from me, Kappa. Well, I appreciate it very much. Let's raise some golden donkeys if you've got them in chat for that $69 donation. Alright. I don't have them, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> you could subscribe. Why would I ever do that? I don't know. I could actually probably get you that comp by now. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I had the option a while back, and I talked to Twitch about it, and they were like, you can only have one, though. And it was between you and Josh, so I didn't know what to do. So you gave it to Josh? I didn't give it to anybody. I just sat on it. <laughs> Sit on it, Potsy. Talking about his dick. Potsy? Is that really what he says? The Happy Days reference. He says Potsy, though? Up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> Man, how many kids do you think got the belt in school for saying up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> they must feel really silly about that one now. Yeah. It was worth it, though. That's pretty anti-authority. <laughs> up your nose with a rubber hose. Oh, yeah. Toast Bro Texas. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. You may have inadvertently sparked this whole Texas Toast argument again. but uh, I love Texas Toast. Why dude, wouldn't Texas you? Toast is fine. It's not a trademark of Texas cuisine, though. Right, and Texans probably wouldn't say that either. They just call it toast. It's just, well, it's a fat ass toast, though. I don't think they call it fat ass toast, Nick. Uh, okay, maybe they don't. Uh, Ty Lord just donated $1.69, though, and says, Could you ask NL why he deleted me on Steam? At least you're cool enough to still have me added Kappa. I he can talk about that. People. I deleted everybody on Steam that I either don't know in real life or, you know, the very, very few exceptions. Mostly because, and this makes me sound like an asshole, but I deleted people on Steam because people would talk to me, and then I wouldn't get back to them. And then, like, one every 30 people would send me a message that was like, why aren't you talking to me? Are we having a fight or something like that? And I'm like, you know, we're not really... We, we, would have, we have nothing to fight about, but we have nothing to talk about either. And it created some weird awkwardness and ruined the scene for everybody else. Not to mention... We're pretty much always on Steam and we're always recording and stuff, so like, we get messages pop up in the middle of our recording sometimes if you forget to set yourself to offline, which I've done a few times. Yeah, and people are like... it's the end of the world or anything, but it's just like, it interrupts a little, you know? People are called like, or people are saying like, don't forget to turn off your Steam overlay, Kappa, and then I'm like, right. well... Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's no biggie. Now we got a big argument about toast and schnitzel again. I would have toast and schnitzel together. I think they would work. The person NL was referencing is Magressa. It's true, you got me. Mag was always like, can we hang out? And I was like, no, Mag. And then he's like, why don't? Why doesn't anybody love me? Because everybody dark. loves Raymond and not you. Everybody does love Raymond. So, Nick, where are you at in your run? I'm in utero one right now, feeding right. a bum. I'm gonna, um, you say feeling a bum? I said feeding a bum, but I'd be, I'd rather be feeling a bum if I had the option. Well, I'm gonna do what I always do then, and just, uh, you know, keep going to the chest as long as I can. Alright, you take the chest, I'll take the bum. So I got Dr. Fetus hearts. along with Mom's Knife and Polyphemus? I don't even know if that, if that gives me anything. Nope. But it didn't take away Mom's knife, which I'm pretty stoked about. Bram stoked. No, I'm not Bram stoked about it, Nick. Uh, okay. Got some extra hearts here. I think I should be able to beat Mom's heart on five red hearts. I think that's not a problem with Mom's knife. Yeah, yeah, it should be pretty easy. <laughs> Just gotta not throw on the cathedral, which I'm gonna do. It gives you a spiffy hat. All right. That is true. I can't deny that. I really right, wish I could get some keys, though, so I could, like, um, you know, open some of these 
myriad golden chests that are showing up. Is that how you use that? I always have trouble using myriad. So myriad, I think you can you can choose whether or not to add an of. That's the way I understand okay. it. Okay. I thought it was you omit the of for some reason, think, but I'm not really sure I understand why. I think that's the traditionally proper usage, but due okay. to like quote unquote misuse, it's now kind of colloquially understood. Oh sure. I mean you could say LOL instead of that you laughed, but you know we wanna prevent the slow degradation of the English language, right? I don't really care. As long as we can communicate, <laughs> it's fine by me, man. Oh, okay. We're all gonna be it's speaking. Actually rather progressive coming from an English teacher. Yeah, exactly. It's all bullshit standards. You teach these people these rules and then if they don't follow them, you give them a low mark. It's like I still understood what you were saying. The only reason it's, you know, it has merit is because other people believe it has merit, man. Well, I thought the, the whole point was to make sure that the language stays roughly the same over a long period of time. You can't stop language from evolving, man. Nor the Twitch bomb, but, you know, you we still try. You also can't stop the Twitch bomb, yeah. yeah. It's called goulash. Are we talking about Hungarian cuisine now? I, I love a good goulash. I'm a goulash paprika. I'm a paprika monster. Sounds it, terrifying. It did came it came out kind of funny, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know what a paprika monster is, but it sounds really scary to me. I like paprika. Is that all that means? Yeah, that's what paprika monster means. I got a t-shirt with it on it. Is it a picture of anything or is it just those words? Well, how would it be a picture of paprika? be red. I don't know what, maybe there's a monster that corresponds with paprika and it's got some kind of like the relevance to something. I don't know. You're a wild dude, Nick. I don't know what I am. That's all that I am. Thought maybe you um, I think I might have just gotten another really big donation. I'm trying to fight mom's heart though and I'm going to look at it in just a second. Sorry guys, sometimes uh, I don't get to see things because I keep my information on my other monitor and then I have Isaac on the left monitor. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Real lies, real lies, real lies. Oh, that's a Matrix thing. What was Mind Jammer? That's it. That was what it yep, was. that's, that's my Matrix name. Did Mind you see that sweet post on NLSS Circle Jerk of me in high school? I did not. It was just a bunch of uh, JC. Uh, video clips like the best moments of JC from Grandma's Boy. Like when he tried to blend into a wall with his trench coat and then he was confused why the character could see him. That was me in high school. Nick, you have this weird fantasy fun. about wanting to be in Grandma's Boy. I don't really actually want any of that at all. It's just funny to me. It'd be sweet if I made a video game though, but that's, I don't need to be in Grandma's Boy to do that. They even made a video for Grandma's Boy, but the movie was so bad it never came out. Yeah, I wanted to play that, actually. Did um, you? It looked like a, an awful third-person character well, action game. At the time, it was like a little like PsyOps, which looked interesting to me, but it's like you play as the Predator. It was, it was uh, made was... by like Majesco or something. Oh, don't say that. That's really bad. Sorry, Majesco. Sorry, Magress Joe. It is pretty uh, close. Darden the First is a different person from Darden? Or is that the same? That's the same person. So Darden just donated another $69.69 wow. uh, and says, I fucking love the song that plays when you donate heart. Wow. Well, that Jeez. is a very expensive way to make it play, but I greatly appreciate the donation. Uh, you just helped me pay for dental work. So I really appreciate that a whole bunch. That's like a really earnestly good use of money. Yeah, that's what I do. That's I save money and I buy medical care mostly and groceries. <laughs> Occasionally a video game or two. That's about it though. Yeah, you bought Diablo 3 Ultimate Edition. Oh my god, I played it all morning. I actually woke up at 8 o'clock this morning and I played it for like 7 hours. Really? I started another freaking Paladin to try and recreate the success I had at your house. And it started out real bad, but it got better. And now I'm actually, like, carving up a path through the game. Carving oh, up a path yeah. running through the highways of Wrath is what I should have said. War and Tear up down on the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. And isn't that just a great metaphor for Diablo 3 in general, Nick? Started out pretty bad, but now it's getting there. Yeah, that's how it all starts. Start at the bottom. How's your run going, buddy? Because I'm, uh... Super done? Well, I'm not super done, but I'm doing an awful lot of damage here. 
I'm hanging out at the cat. At the cat. Cat. Cathedral. Oh, I sorry, I wasn't familiar with the uh, what the kids Kathy's, are calling it these days. Kathy's draw. Really wish I could get a, a freaking key so I could get more items, but I guess that's uh, that's not possible. I'm gonna slid a bomb out of the way for no reason. I would give you one if I could, but I, I can't send it your way. How many do you have? I have four. It's enough to go around. It is enough to go around. You're exactly right. I have nearly 30 bombs though. Yeah. Must be I nice. played a slot machine for a while for some reason. Maybe it'll give me uh, spirit hearts, actually. I could use those. Slot machines can do that, albeit somewhat rarely. Yeah, I've gotten them pretty regularly, actually, which confused me because I really thought that they were exclusive at first to the other one, the fortune teller. Well, Nick, did you pick up the miter? Nope. All right, never mind then. I wish I had, though. I like the miter a whole bunch. Right, and red L hearts. Please play Desert Bus. That sounds like one of those things that would be funny for like an hour. I know that you know there's already those dudes who do that. Yeah, it's a charity thing. Char what's it called? Desert Bus Charity Live yeah, Stream. I don't remember exactly. Desert Bus Foundation or something like that. Oh, full health. That's perfect. Like that. That is cool. I don't want to step on their toes. Also, I think I would just be really bored, which I guess is kind of the point, but. Like, I think it would be fun if, like, we got two or three of us to all do it at the same time and then see who, like, lasts the longest. What do you, you always want to do these, these like, miniature torture chambers where we all play yeah, something... Yeah, good entertainment for people. We, they like We play that. something bad and then just do it to see oh, who can last the longest. Yeah. Heat Blaze. Well, for Desert Buses, you, by the way. Sorry, go ahead. No, thank you, Heat Blaze. Thank you. All right, Nick, go ahead. Should I use the Joker card on the Cathedral? Yes. What is that going to do for me? It will give you a deal with the devil. But I still have to fight the dude, right? Or yeah, do I you skip it? You can't skip it, but... You know. But I don't want to give up any more of my hearts. I only have five of them. Well, you have that choice. What if there's something amazing in there? It's too late. I'm going in. I'm going to fight. Uh, and this is going to leave me with just enough keys for the chest in case I happen to make it. Desert Here we go. For five. Home. Yeah, that's it. I don't know, I'm pretty sure people would be entertained if we were all playing Desert Bus and being silly at the I same time. I wouldn't be entertained, though. That's okay. You don't have to be entertained. It's part of your job sometimes. That's like a big part. I Normally, I would agree with you, except that I have the choice between being entertained and not being entertained. Well, you sure do. You don't have to do any of this, the ideas that I suggest, but that's fine. That's your prerogative. Mostly, I'm just I'm a little resentful that you give up all these ideas, but you don't go through with them yourself. If you think the idea is so good, then uh, give it a shot, big boy. Well, who else am I? You're my buddy, man. You're the one that I would want to play Desert Bus with. Hey, if you do a proof of concept and you say, hey, this was fun, I'll be there. It's not going to be fun. I'm telling you right off the bat. But that's the premise. I'm dead. I died to Isaac. Oh, no. Sorry, everybody. That's all right. You still beat me because I died, remember? Yeah. And thank you very much, Anna, for the $1.69 donation. Uh, she told me to use the Joker card. Dude, yeah. I don't understand why you would. Because I didn't want to give up any of my hearts. What if you got Guppy's Paw, though? You could have, like, 30 spirit hearts. Well, we'll never know now. Because I'm dead. All right, well, I'm going to beat Isaac for this last time, and it, or Blue Baby, and it's done. We're going to play uh, Spelunky Daily Challenge next. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining us so far. We'll be back in three minutes. See you soon. See you soon. Soon, soon. That's The Sims. Sims 4? I, I think it's any of them. It's just Simlish. Simlish. Sim economy's fucked, man. Oh, I'm just staying away from yeah. it for now. I'm going to let it all settle. Maybe we'll come back to it later. Look up Schnitzel. Thank you for the subscription as well, just before I hit the add button. It's a good idea. Um, Spunky, huh? I don't mean, like, the, the DLC is fucked. Mostly. Oh, no, I didn't think you did. I thought you just meant that game in general is like, just kind of a confusing mess right now. Watching Kate play it, she's like, hey, we're going to have some breakfast, and it's like a yogurt parfait. 13 simoleons. Where the hell do we live? Inside of like a freaking hotel or well, something? You, what do you know the exchange rate? Like, how do you know what that's Why wouldn't they just make it similar to the exchange rate for dollars? Well, they don't have to do that. They should, though. 
Money's just an artificial construct. It doesn't mean Don't anything. Don't even give me that shit. Money is less arbitrary than the English language. I don't know if I agree. <laughs> all right. Daily challenge. We're all just stardust. I told people we were going to do uh, death through that. Oh, yeah? So let's I don't even think I have the link to that anymore. <laughs> I think if you just Google Spelunky Death Roulette. Man, if you Google it, the autocomplete comes up with Spelunky Death Roulette Bear Taffy. Wow. Not not on my side. You've oh, just really? been hanging out with Bear Taffy too much. Or not enough. I don't know which. You're the number one Spelunky streamer right now, Nick. Wow. That didn't take very long. With one better. Oh, I see that. Pibonacci's underneath me, and he's like a huge speedrunner. That's super not fair. That is super not fair. I, I rescind my whatever privilege I have for him, because <laughs> he deserves it. it. I do. You know, somebody puts in all their time and effort playing one game, and I can just swoop in like it's no big deal and steal the top spot. I don't feel good about that. Rich get richer, man. I'm going to get some water. The thirstier get sated. Get richer. <laughs> so how are you guys doing out in chat land? Hopefully you've been having fun so far. I'm sorry I threw the Isaac run, but you know, that's kind of me, isn't it? I do this very regularly. Rescind everything? Anyone know today's bracket? You mean today's docket? You're getting real tired of Jack in the Box's stupid commercials, huh? I'm getting real tired of Hulu. Uh, playing the same two commercials like every time. It's kind of like Twitch, honestly. Uh, they play the same commercials for every show I watch across the entire spectrum of all television. So, like, I watch The Daily Show and Colbert Report all the time, and sometimes I watch, like, any of the Chef Ramsay shows. They're all on there. Sometimes I watch Shark Tank, and all of that stuff has the same commercials on it. There's a little bit of diversity on occasion, but it's usually focusing on the same ones. I don't understand how they could be such a big company and have so little in the way of, like, ad buy power. It's really not that big of a thing, is it? What? Machinima can do it, and they're functionally incompetent. Ooh, I didn't say that. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't go away anymore. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about how Hulu plays the same ads, like, every time I watch anything, always, yeah. and then compared it to Twitch a little bit, because they do that, too. Nick is so hot, give me a wet kiss. All right, I'll make it as wet as possible. Ready? Don't do this. You didn't have to do that. All right, that was weird. People like grapes. Dogs don't like grapes. Did you know that dogs uh, shouldn't eat grapes? Yeah, I, I actually did know that. That's uh, grapes and chocolate. Wait, we're, we were talking about that when we were in the car, weren't we? I think we were, yeah. Okay. So I've started the death roulette round. If you want to uh, go to this link that I just posted in chat and bet, feel free to do so. Yeah, same here. Nick, I have like no de balloons anymore. But I never did, so it doesn't matter to me. It's oh, Pyro's Jesus. Number five on the list there. Get your bets in. Get your bets in. All right, get your bets in. I'm going to start. Are you ready, Nick? Uh, not yet. I'm working on it, though. Should I bet for myself? Yeah, you have to click start round anyway, so you automatically bet. Oh, yeah, I'm good then. Oh, yeah. Play game. Lada. Lada, Lada. Thanks for the subscriber. Oh. Wait, Joy to Key? That's going to mess me up. Always with the... Do you play Isaac with the controller? Yes, of course. Oh, my Atlanta. How, how are you still having a revelation about this to this day? KBMOD, man. It's the best way to play. Except for first-person no. shooters. Then you use the Xbox 360 controller. I talked to Tyrone, and he said we're all going to be using controllers very soon. Yeah, Tyrone was really bad at Rebirth, though. He was fine. You got to talk to it Cobalt Streak. He's pretty good, too. Yeah, let's see how he feels about it. I I will. I'll talk to him. I'll ask him. All right, I'm in the mines one right now. Are you ready? Oh, well, you did. You're supposed to say I'm ready to start. I I hang back waiting for I your slow literally butt. just spawned, okay. and then I hit pause. Everything's fine. All right. Well, then we, Everything's just, fine. we, we didn't get to do our three, two, one, and then go down the rope at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, I'm already like one level down now. So. I know. I know. Get your bets in. I don't play CSGO with a controller, chat. You just relax your, your bitch butts. Your bollocks. Relax your bollocks. Relax your bollocks, please. 
So I don't really understand bollocks. Can I just? There's, I know there's English people it's in chat. Balls. That, yeah, but sometimes it's a good thing, right? They'll be like, "This is bollocks. That's bad." But if they say it's the what? dog's bollocks, isn't that a good thing? Yeah. Why isn't that? We do the same kind of thing in English. I guess like it's the shit. Yeah. Exactly. Or it's shit. You're right. Those. Or how stupid can be both good and bad. Oh. Depending on the context. If you're, if you're like, like kind of a teenager. Yeah, I, I was gonna say if you're eleven. Grade. Like that's stupid good. I mean, it does happen, but it's rare. Or dope. Dope is generally a bad thing, but it can be good too if you're how a teenager. Is, how is dope generally a bad thing? You smoke dope. That's bad. You get arrested. You go to jail. Right? That's bad. Bad kitties. I don't. I think dope Cats is don't a, smoke dope. like you're a dope. Yeah, that's bad too. That's bad, but dope on a rope. I really like this double dragon we've got right here to start. That was a decent first floor. If someone thinks they're the dog's bollocks, they're arrogant, is what they're it's arrogant. Like. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know that actually. That was the worst damage I think I've taken in Spelunky in quite some time. Stupid damage. The stupidest. St Ooh, stupid damage from me as I said that, as I freaking walked into an arrow trap. Oh, the arrow traps are the worst, the stupidest of all damage. I know better. Are you old enough to know better, but still too young to care? <laughs> Something like that. If you inject PCP, you can punch out of jail. <laughs> you also become a superhero. It apparently. makes you bulletproof, man. If you smoke crocodile, then your skin falls off and there's actually scales underneath. You don't smoke crocodile, man. What you do, man? I don't do drugs. Crocodile, you inject it. You mainline it. Gross. Pretty much, yeah. But it does unveil the lizard person that lives beneath all of us. That's the one that actually makes your skin come off, right? Yeah, you die. Creates, like, terrible infections. Oh, so Freak. gross. Bit of a I thought I remember people saying, like, that they were experimenting with it, too, and it's like, it's not even that good of a high, but, like, they're addicted to it anyway. It's kind of like Isaac. Ugh, drugs, man. Don't do them. Yeah, drugs are, like, you know, pretty crazy. Get yourself in a heap of trouble doing the dope. Second floor was pretty good. Crocodile is just shitty heroin. That's what Hell Platypus says. Okay. I'm inclined to believe him with a name like that. Because you know what Captain Lou Albano said about drugs. If you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> you go to hell and you die. No, you go to hell before you die, Nick. Yeah. Um, right, that was close. I'm going to buy these climbing gloves. Nick, uh, I don't know if you know this, but they're having a sale in the shop. You can actually pick up whatever you want for free. Yeah, it's a homicidal sale, though. I'm not interested in committing a homicide. Unlike some people. He would do it to you if he had the intelligence to do so. Not as long as we keep things copacetic between the two of us. Unless some random shit happens that's out of my control, and sometimes he goes crazy also. Exactly, man. I don't set that stuff up. Goodbye, though, like... Kate! Hi, Kate. She can't hear you, Nick. Have fun. Good luck. High fructose. High fructose. I don't get Oh, I get it. GLHF. I know I'm talking a lot, a lot about uh, Counter-Strike, Nick. Counter-Strike community never fails to, to tickle my funny bone, though. Every single game, you know, people say, like, good luck, have fun. There's always one joker who's like, bad luck, fun have. And you're like, okay, well, this guy is the most clever dude in his middle school. He says things backwards because it's oh, opposite day. so zany. That could have been me when I was nine. Yeah, but they're like, they sound like they're in their 20s at least. Mm, they are. Is it... It's always like some dude who sounds a little old, like a little too old to be comfortable with this, making jokes about like some other kid's squeaky voice. So right. he'd be like, sorry, I can't hear you over your squeaky voice, you fucking eight-year-old. And you're like, damn, dude, if you're 16, sure, but you sound like you're 30. And if you're 30, that's really depressing that you're making right. fun of this nine-year-old kid. You're like jealous of a nine-year-old or something. Yeah. That community is, it's the community that civilization forgot. Where did I put my shotgun here? There are some very nice, some very civil people on it. You should do some videos of like meeting weird people in Counter-Strike. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. You should do that, Nick. There's an idea that you can do. I don't like that idea. I just thought it would be for you because you like Counter-Strike. 
Yeah, but you, you're not even playing the Counter-Strike. It's about the people in, in your your world here. Oh, okay. Can someone explain to me where my shotgun went? I could do videos on people I meet on Twitch, too. There you go. It just would be way less controversial, generally. All right, this is going to have to be quick. We bait the ghost into coming all the way up here. That's how you get all the ectoplasm out. Thank you for telling me where my shotgun was, Chan. I appreciate that. Or ecto cooler, as they called it in the early 90s. Oh, scorpion man! Okay, he's good. I'm not doing very well on money, but I'm very much alive so far. It's like that Pearl Jam song. Ooh. Oh, I'm damn dead! Northern Lion's dead. That sucks. You want to know how it happened, Nick? Yeah. I got caught in a spider web. So I, I was going to jump over oh, the ghost. Oh, leave a message and I'll call you back. What? It's a no was, doubt reference. I was going to... I'm not going to even try. Uh, I was going to try to jump over the ghost. I jumped over the ghost just fine, but I didn't realize there was a spider web up there, so I got caught in it. Oh, I didn't even lock my bets. Oh, shit. Ghost. Where's the ghost? Accidents? It was an accident. Accidents happen. Where the heck is Ghost? There he is. 20 people get bet on the Ghost. Congrats, you win. I'm trying to kill a big old spider here with my bare feet. Man, somebody won yeah, $12,000 there. Pretty good. All right, let's start this the round again. Big bucks. That was me being an idiot, by the way. Um, but that's okay. It happens from time to time. Enjoy your daily challenge, Nick. Okay, I'll try. I need some scarabs while I'm on this dark level. I haven't seen any. Very disappointed. Did you make it to the dark myself. level? I'm not gonna answer that question. Oh, that's a no then. Well, I, well, there might not be a dark level if you finish a level fast enough, you uh, scrub lord. Oh, I forgot about that. I, uh, I don't think I did though, and I was slow on the levels. The main thing that got me there, uh, forgetting where my shotgun was and then taking way too freaking long to do bullshit stuff that had no impact on the game, thereby making the ghost show up, not giving me enough time to take out the shopkeeper quickly. Alright, I found the black market, kind of. But I don't have enough money. I'm only at 30k. One day you have to grow up, Nick. You have to play adult Spelunky. <sighs> no way, I want to stay a kid forever. You're never gonna, you know, get a million with that attitude. Oh, 12 bombs! The world is now my oyster again. Now I can just blow up shit all willy-nilly and take all the gold out. I never thought about it before, but there, uh... Must be, like, one dude on Earth named willy-nilly, right? Willy-nilly, yeah. <laughs> you think his parents knew it, or if they're, they're just like, they I have no it. idea? They just wanted to be kind of smart asses about the whole thing. I mean, keep in mind, as I ask this, you are talking to a person who admittedly thought the sun was not the largest star on Earth. Or the... <laughs> on the, Earth? The closest star to Earth. Sorry, for a, uh, for a period of time. Right, a star on Earth. Earth doesn't have that many stars, so I was surprised with, it, with myself there. <laughs> it is just enough. It has, like, you and Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin's brother did a, an AMA on Reddit the other day. I really thought you were just going to talk about drugs again for some reason, but you didn't. Did I'm he glad. get addicted to heroin or something? I thought he was just really skinny. I don't know, man. Something about Macaulay Culkin and drugs just seems like it goes together. Uh, or just child actors and drugs in general, not even just him. I think of all the actors on Earth, Macaulay Culkin has the name where if you slur it the most, it sounds like a great brand of scotch whiskey. <laughs> yeah, can I get a, uh, I'll take a glass of the Magully Gulkin. Uh, yeah, the 20, the 25 year old, yeah, when he was in Saved. I totally hear it. Magully Gulkin. Magully Gulkin. Kind of sounds like you're drowning a little bit too. Magully Gulkin. Yeah, it's dangerous. Okay, I'm, I'm at 60k, and I'm in the black market. Things are looking good. Yeah, you can buy the Ankh. I was thinking about doing just that, actually. Uh, this bat's kind of in my way, though. Okay, let's... There we go. 
Really hate inviting animals into the shop. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, sometimes they don't play by the rules. Shopkeeper just anyway. uses like, I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna go nuts. <laughs> All right. A, a double Magully Gulkin and Coke, please. You got it, Elucidator. You see what's up. Anke. Congrats, Nick. And I have 10k left. What can I buy with that? I can get some more bombs. I can get some spike shoes. I kind of, I kind of want the spike shoes. Both, you can get both of them for free if you wanted to. Nope. Nope. Well, I'm really glad I, got, I used a rope there. I got thanked for my business. See, that's the kind of thing you can't get when you kill everyone you know. I don't kill everyone I know. I keep the dog alive. Well. Unless Not often, a, honestly. Unless there's an ability to sacrifice it or I could take its blood. Or I could take its blood. All right, I'm going to lock the bets here. There we go. Lots of people betting oh, on Shopkeeper. Oh, I forgot about locking the bets. That's the thing I need to do. Betting on Shopkeeper is like going to the roulette table and putting money down on, like, black. Live a little bit, people. Or like, yeah, I'm going to go to the roulette table and bet on even. Come on, man. I would do that. You don't go to Vegas to bet on even. I go for the safest bets if I want to bet at anything at all, which I don't. Dude, all bets are proportionally safe. All bets are off. Yeah, actually, I found out that playing the lottery, you have a 50-50 chance of winning because you can either win or not win. There's only two options. Yep. This is one of those things that I'm going to get angry comments about. I, I don't believe that, just so you know. Now you should believe it because it's the truth. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not worth the exchange. I uploaded a video of a bunch of uh, video clips of your cats, and yeah. then there was this big debate about whether or not they were declawed. Yeah, and it's Kay was telling still me about going that. going on now. Kay was and telling me about that know. yesterday. They're not declawed. They're not, and no one ever said anything to the effect that they were. <laughs> Things just get really out of hand on YouTube sometimes. Animals are one of the. Uh... They're buzzwords. Yeah. Or, but that's not, uh, triggers, trigger warnings. Triggers, yeah, that's that's a good word for it. Oh, this game's being so generous. I have so many bombs. Cool. Jungle's looking good. He lies, they are clearly declawed. You're crazy, yo. No, I saw her clip their nails myself. Yeah. They definitely have claws, and they're not—they're uh, not trimmed down to the quick either. They are—they have comfortable lengths of nails, so they can still, you know, do what cats do. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, there was a shotgun there. I'm even more of an idiot. What a waste of ropes. They're just—they're ragdolls, so they're just very polite. They don't really try to cut you when they grab. They're also living in a movie, and uh, Daddy's little cutie. What's that mean? You know, ragdoll. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get that one. Never want to do me like you do. You want to do me like you do? He declawed them just to reclaw them. Don't do your ragdoll. Well, I told you about that one video where, like, there's a lynx in that dude's kitchen, and he kind of meows at it and laughs, and then people were, like, basically sending him death threats. Like, you know. I think I is, saw that, actually. This is no way to treat an animal, blah, blah, blah. You're like, dude. It's not like he, he captured the lynx. He's just like, fuck, man, there's a lynx in my kitchen. Do we know why the lynx was in his kitchen? He was just confused, you know, not like any malicious intent, I think. Right. Well, I mean, it would be different if, like, he was keeping the lynx there and it didn't want to be there. Right, yeah. That would wandered in or some crazy thing. It wandered in. Okay. It just wandered in. Uh, I'm tired of these dark levels, though. The game's been very generous with bombs, but not so generous with light. Mm, that's an important resource. It's renewable, though. I think. Not sure about that one. Hmm. Okay. Don't f me here, blue frogs. I love scaring people by uh, falling onto the spikes. I don't. Oh my god, I'm wasting the ropes so often. I have ten of them still, so it's not the end of the world, but... Ruka, what's wrong, buddy? Ruka! 
Something's always wrong. He's just a cat, so he sounds concerned all the time. Yeah, Can't there's not it. really, like, too many options for a meow, are there? There's, well, there's that playful happy one that's like... Purr. Yeah, that's true. I like that one a lot. Did you know cats actually produce, like, medicinal qualities from their purring? Is the that frequency true? that they purr at can actually help heal wounds. That's... I read that this morning. I need to do more research to see if it's really true, but it looked pretty right. That's crazy. See, it's like more reasons to love cats. They want to heal your wounds. See the wind beneath our wings. Yeah. What's up with this bullshit down here? It's like a new character. I forgot that I'm playing this on this new hard drive. Oh, that's exciting. You can unlock everybody again. Yeah, I just murdered them instead, though. <laughs> you unlock them as long as you get them out of the coffin. Doesn't matter what happens after that. Yeah, it's like new character unlocked. You killed them, but, you know, thanks anyway. <laughs> He's already dead by the time this text reaches your eyes. It can't be trusted. Oh, good. It's a like a human settlement level with a beehive on it. I thought you were going to say human centipede level. Oh, I want hey. to see that level. That was dangerous. I think my sound effects are messed up. Like, it stopped playing the shopkeeper music, even though the shopkeeper wasn't dead, which really got me confused oh. on the last level. And, and then on this one, I killed the uh, the bee, but it didn't make the royal jelly sound. Royal jelly has its own sound? Yeah, it goes like... Oh. See, now this is actually like a big problem if the shopkeeper music doesn't play, because that's a huge tell. That's a warble, apparently, that cat sound I made, not a, a purr or a meow. Sorry, I don't know all the proper ways to define cat sounds. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing I needed to know. You should listen to more Mark Antony then. Does he make a lot of feline purring sounds? No, he sings the song I Need to Know. Oh. I'd like him more if he made purring sounds. Ruka, what's wrong, buddy? I'm pretty sure he's just like, Kate's not here. <laughs> he goes on loop. <laughs> Kate's not here. I have a short memory and I'm a cat. Kate's not here. <laughs> he might actually be saying, check out this dope box I just got. Oh, oh that'd be cool. Disingenuous, though. He didn't get it. Like... Well, he received it. Whether or not he obtained it is a different story. All right, I'm going to go check on this cat, make sure he's okay. I'll be back in a moment here. I'll hold it down for you. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Nick. I, do, I really do. Sincerely. No See, I believed him in... T oh... I hope this is the level that has the head on it. Oh my god. It wasn't. Hello. Fudge, my brown butthole. Oh, god damn it. Everything's terrible, basically. No, it's not. Everything's fine. That really sucks, though. Did you hear how loud he meowed? I didn't. I was too busy cursing at myself because I freaking threw. Oh no, you still have the, like, one life left? My onk's gone, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I wandered down in front of a stupid mammoth, and I got frozen. And I was really hoping that I was on the correct level for it not to have even mattered, but I wasn't, of course. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Well, I'm still in it. I only have 62,000, though, so basically the whole first half of the game was for naught. But, you know, that's how it goes with hell runs. Not if you kill the shopkeepers. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh well. I guess I could keep my shotgun then. Cat cam or riot? Well, it looks like there's gonna be well, probably a riot. Let's see riot. At least the shopkeeper music's playing now. And another royal jelly town. There's a whole town? Yeah. It's a crazy town. Oh, Such a sexy, sexy, pretty little thing. And then that's when she got me sprung with her tongue ring. Oh, I thought it was gonna be about an onion ring. That would be a great... A&W should totally get the license to Butterfly by Crazy Town. They could call it, like, <laughs> Brother Burber. Brother Burger, sorry. Brother Burber. Come, my lettuce. Come, come, my lettuce. You're my Brother Burger. Two for one. Special. Doesn't really rhyme, but <laughs> kind of works. That, that's never stopped fast food jingles have in the to. past. Yeah. Rip in rip, etc. Yeah, I know. Oh, look who it is. As soon as I start the next floor, freaking head. Oh, I thought you were going to say Josh. No, it's the head that I needed to die to. Mmm, that's bad. 
Yeah! At least I still didn't kill the shopkeepers, though. I feel good about that. What? I know, right? Nick. Yeah? I placed the bomb on the mantle of the shopkeeper's face. What? There's a mantle on his face? Well, it was pasted to his to his forehead, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And it, he didn't die when it exploded. Oh. It's like he just went like, Arr! They're really strong. Did you know how much? They think they have a 10 health or something. The bomb does it, though, man. One bomb does oh, it. I know it should. Oh, no, I didn't. Fickle. I, I guess I didn't, didn't stick it to him. I stuck it close to him. Oh. Because I've seen the shopkeeper actually get eaten by a man trap and then burst out angry. Yeah, that does happen. That's terrifying. I don't think... No one should have that much power. I don't think the black market's over here, then. There's a little bit of space that I didn't touch, but there was no blinking at all. My bad, my bad. Apparently, I didn't, uh... I didn't stick him. That's my bad. So you've had to start another run, Nick. Or no, you started the next floor. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm still going. I just, I don't have much money. So it just, like, was a long time of playing for nothing. Well, it's not for nothing. You learned for, something. For little. And I didn't learn any. I knew not to go in front of the mammoth already. I just didn't do it properly. It does happen. I, I go in front of the mammoth uh, from time to time still. I don't even know if it was that I didn't know to go there or just that I, like, didn't press the button fast enough. It was probably a little of both. Oh, since you apologize, I'll let you off this time. I appreciate that, okay. Chad. Thank you very much. Oh. Gonna have a BM on go this to floor. Go to other shit. Gonna be a BM on this floor for sure. Nobody appreciates you laying down a BM on this floor. I really like some of the attention to detail in this game, man. Like when Ooh, you, uh, lived. <laughs> if you use a bomb and you're fully submerged, then it uh, it muffles the sound. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, I will never say that this game is not very well produced. Nick, you want to hear a bummer? Oh, I already told you about it. I, I died. What's apparently, yours? Apparently, NHL 15 is actually one of the worst NHL. Franchise what? games in, uh, in recent memory. It's missing a whole bunch of features on next gen and on last gen, I guess. But yeah, it's it's uh, one of the first games in a long time in the franchise that people are calling a misstep. Holy shit! If you would have actually told me that got okay reviews and you bought it, I probably would have actually bought it. I was looking forward to it. You know, the best year to buy a, a sports game on a new console is the first year when there's nothing freaking else to play. But no, looks like they kind of phoned it in a little bit. That's really a shame. I mean, what we played in the demo was so fun. How could it be worse than that? Well, the, the, like the what gameplay. Is there to do wrong? The gameplay is fine, supposedly. It's the. Um... Well, the gameplay is what I'm concerned with. What else is there? Well, it's, it's missing some features. Like. Uh... Does it not have good EA tracks? Look, is that man, the problem? But I'm trying to give you an answer here. I'm sorry. It does. It's missing like franchise mode or something like that. Or... Well, I don't think I'd use that. that. That's one of the most important things, man. I, I just want the mode that lets me play against you. That's the only mode. Yeah, but we could have done an online franchise mode against one another. Okay, what is that bullshit that just happened to me? It's a season that, that multiple people can play in, and they play as one team. Oh. I don't even understand what I just died to. All right, chat, you're going to have to help me figure out how I classify this for the sake of the Spelunky death roulette, because I don't know. Just watch the replay. And kill Cam. Read all the pamphlets and watch the tapes. I shot a, an alligator man, and he teleported, but he teleported like way past me, and I just happened to die on the way for him, him teleporting, I guess. Oh, Did he teleport? shit. Nick, I was, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, say that your situation is not important as well. I was about to get murdered by two shopkeepers. Then one of them froze the other one with a with a freeze ray. Oh, that's deep. I guess Correct. that was a telefrag. Yeah, was All sweet. right, so we're gonna pay out to Croco Man. You gotta be fucking fucking me with this bullshit. How many shopkeepers are on the black market? Croco like, Man has none. It's like eight. Nobody bet Croco. I shouldn't still be alive, but I had 13 health coming down to this floor, so... 
Sorry, everybody. Sorry, Nick. You did your best. Net loss. <laughs> I didn't win. You didn't get any Spelunky bucks. We all lose. So I guess when he teleports, if he hits flesh, he uses that as a teleporting point again. It's all bullshit. And it happened so fast that I didn't even realize he teleported twice. It looked like he just teleported once very far. Are you telling me there's more shopkeepers still alive on planet Earth here? <laughs> Hundreds. This is why you don't kill them. It's just a mess. All right, well. Sorry. Onk, jetpack, every other item in the game. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be fucking fucking me with this bullshit, Northern Lino. Hey, Fedrin's number uh, 24 ranked on this daily challenge today. Really? Yeah. Had uh, 450,000. Where's Snaps at? Uh, he's not on here. Wow! Wow. It's actually just her, then me, then you, then Doxy. Well, at least I beat someone. <laughs> We're like the last four people playing. <laughs> You think you know some people oh, and you find out you don't yeah. know anybody. Armored Goose, up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pratt. Thank you very much for that subscription. I want to do another daily. <laughs> it's not fair. You should be able to stack up dailies, man. Yeah, just let me do a few days in advance and then I won't be able to do them for a while. Or at least, like, it, you know, have seated runs, kind of. I guess you can do that with Frozen Lucky, oh, but... Yeah, Frozen Lucky does it. Frozen Lucky's awesome. Oh, Nick isn't friends with Northern Lion. His name's the Durst of Times. I'm the Durst of Times. Uh, what am I doing? I guess I'm just starting a new run. Okay. Yeah, we got time. It's still really early. I was very invested in that run. It made time slow down for some reason. <laughs> yeah, when you fail a Spelunky run midway through, it's a, it's a heartbreaker for sure. And with a hell run, it's like a series of cascading failure. It's not just one failure. At least for me. Hell Platypus says the Dark Souls 2 DLC is pretty good. The volcano one, I think. It's in case we yeah. There's like Curse of the Sunken King, and then this is like Curse of the Old Iron King or something like that. And then Curse of the Crimson King. That'd be, I would play that. It would be one of the best post-rock DLC albums ever made. <laughs> Post rock? That's not what I'm going, going for. Is it's it? Prague. Prague rock. That's it. Made from Russia, with love. King Crimson's not Russian, Nick. Uh, They're Canadian. I don't know if you didn't get the joke or you just didn't want to get the joke. Prague is in the, the Czech Republic, Nick. Oh fuck everything! I don't even know my geography then. <laughs> hey, it was a good joke. I just didn't follow through with it. I thought I was a little confused about the whole the whole Prague Fine. thing. What's like, uh, what's Czech Republic cuisine? I don't know. Someone in, there's gotta be someone in the chat who's Czech or has, uh, you know, experience with the Czech Republic. What's the cuisine like? For Ben is I've gone to Quick Czech. I don't even know what that means. The gas station that serves Oh, food. okay. <laughs> My mistake. <clears throat> Yeah, Luke has it right. Shopkeeper uh, bets are pure scum. All right, so I'm, I'm seeing noodles, kolaches or kolakas. That what, second one sounds more right to me. I don't know what kolakas are. Czech Republic cuisine is very strong beer. You know, we do have uh, Pilsner Urkel is pretty popular outside, well, in, in North America at least. Pilsner Urkel, I think, is a Czech beer because Pilsner is originally Czech to begin with, I think. I don't know anything about beer. I don't know what Kalakas is. I haven't really into beer. cider since PAX, though. We I bought we, some cider. We're in we're in Cider City, man. Well, I feel like apples grow more commonly on like the East Coast, but cider is more commonly consumed on the West Coast. It's all I sorts of that. weird like cidery micro pubs. Yeah, it's some kind of weird meta micromanagement shit. Don't even Nick. Scarcity. Yeah, there was some there was some decent cider to be had. <laughs> Made a break from uh, drinking like 70 Blue Moons. Yeah, I think that's really what happened is I got kind of tired of just drinking Blue Moon every day. Yeah. Well, so I, then cider became like another option, which I liked. Look, I love my wife, but you know who to blame for that. Well, I like it too, though. I don't mind the Blue Moon. 
I would be like, you want to get something else? And she'd be like, nah, I like Blue Moon. She's got a good point. It's fine. It's kind of a neutral beer. Yeah, I like Blue Moon as well. And Pyramid's pretty good too. I didn't know about them until you introduced me to it. And thank you very much to Armored Goose. May your goose be forever armored. I appreciate the subscription. Welcome to the quarry. Washington State is one of the biggest apple producers. My mistake. I didn't know that. I, I just assumed okay. it was like a, assumed it was like a main thing. New I Hampshire. Mean, New York has a lot of apples. I drive past apple orchards all the time. Yeah, that's uh, you know, the the area where I grew up also had a lot of apple orchards. I thought it was, uh, thought it was an East Coast. It's thing. Just apples everywhere. Pretty you know, hardy fruit I think. Yep. Grows well in the fall season. Just out of context in chat, I like this comment. Budweiser all the fucking way. <laughs> I actually think Budweiser gets kind of a bad rap. I don't think it's that bad. What did we have at the the place before we saw the movie? Was that Budweiser? That picture we got? That was Budweiser, actually. Because actually that wasn't that bad. Yeah, they gave us the choice between Budweiser and Kokanee. Kokanee is Canadian, but it's dog shit. I'm not saying... You know, Budweiser is not the, the finest lager in the world, but... Uh, I didn't care either way. It was fine. Kokanee is like... Do you guys have Wildcat? Mm, I don't think I've heard of it. All right. I think Kokanee is almost as close as we come to, to Natty Ice. Or Natty oh. Lights. So it's like a Mike Fox beer? No, Mike Fox beers are um, wine coolers. And you might think I'm <laughs> joking there, but uh, dude is an unabashed wine cooler drinker, which more power to him, you know? You like what you like. But at the same time, it makes me disgusted to uh, hang out with him. <laughs> not because, That's not so because mean. it makes him like, I, I'm trying to emasculate him or anything, but just because I'm like, hey, can I have a beer? And he's like, well, we have all these like, Palm Bay wine coolers. And I'm like, do I want alcohol as much as I want to like <laughs> not feel like I'm getting a cavity and like drinking a chocolate bar? Or bag of skills. Bar. It's, it's like, it's a, it's a complicated value proposition. <laughs> Why can't you just buy, or when he buys beer, he's like, I got, like, I got a new beer, and I'm like, okay, I'm excited to try it. And he's like, it's ginger beer made with, like, lemonade in it. And I'm like, you got, like, a ginger beer shandy? He's That's like, interesting. Yeah. He's a wild dude with his, with his alcohol taste. Again, I'm not trying, I would never try to shame anybody for, uh, well, I would I would shame him, but like self-awarely, um, for the, for his alcohol choices. But it just makes it difficult to to bum free booze off. Of him. I would watch Scrubs, and I would see JD would always order Apple Teenies, and I always wanted to try one, but I always felt like I would be too embarrassed to order one at a bar. You could get an Apple Teeny. It's so it's kind of bullshit that there's like gendered drinks. Who cares? Who cares? Like, it's just a drink. Well, that's a, you gotta be you gotta be the change you want to see in the world, Nick. Right. It's a little scary here. Um. Yeah, you know. Do you I, actually have chocolate beers? Because you said bite into a chocolate bar. It's like they, I they never have, heard of that. Like, you know, beers that use chocolate as a flavor, or even like uh, you know, chocolate porters or stouts and stuff like that. It might actually work together because chocolate's a little bitter sometimes. So you can use that with the bitterness of the beer. Vanilla is actually uh, the finest of the flavors. Well, we don't need to get into that again. We've already covered our flavor preferences. See the show and then you know the vertigo is going to go because it's so dangerous. You have to sign a waiver. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty close. That was it, wasn't it? Why didn't we do karaoke for the fifth time? It's always super One far One of these away. days. I always expect karaoke is going to be like right next to either our place of residence or the convention center. And it's always like, closest karaoke, uh, wow, that's a name I've not heard for a long time. And then it's like 12 miles outside. This is Google Maps talking to me. Yeah. Uh, it's like 12 miles outside of the city center. And it's open, uh, you know, 4 to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays only. Like, really? <laughs> it's the worst time of all time. There's no way to run a business as far as I'm concerned. This is going to be the most boring floor of all time, Chad. I apologize. Pretty much just going to wait up here until uh, the ghost comes. Yeah, get ectoplasm all over you, though. Use the Anubis wand again, NL. Excuse me? Don't ever use that. Anubis wand? 
Scepter kills you 100% of the time. I actually kind of like that name. Like, instead of Scepter, Anubis Wand. It sounds like you're saying something else that I don't quite understand. Swan. I'll show you my Anubis Wand. Anubis Swand. Oh, I died. I'm gonna bust a nut in your hedge. Gross. Pretty disgusting. I hear it's good for your hair, though. Well, I wouldn't know, would I? Mm -mm. I died again. I wonder what drinks from the UK are known in the US. There's a lot of them. Strongbow. Um, as far as uh, beers go, it's all like 